Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make chicken marsala. Mm, here's what you need. Chicken breast, all-purpose flour, cremini mushrooms, shallots and garlic, marsala wine, some chicken stock, some butter, flat leaf parsley, and of course, extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper. Okay, here's the first thing I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is preheat my pan. I have a large non-stick skillet, nice and deep, well not too deep, and I'm, um, I'm preheating it with about a quarter cup of uh, olive oil. And the second thing I'm going to do before the chicken touches my flour is I want to take two tablespoons of butter and I want to dredge them in the flour. This is for when the end of the sauce, this is how I'm going to thicken it up. This is my little secret to get nice and thick without using a lot of butter. Okay. Next thing you want to do is take your chicken breast. Now, if your supermarket or your butcher doesn't have any chicken cutlets, which are basically just pounded out chicken breasts, they're about a quarter to a half inch thick. If your butcher doesn't have them, they only have regular chicken breasts, just take them home and put them between two pieces of plastic wrap and pound them thinly. I was able to find them already pounded out, so I'm just going to use that. And I'm going to dredge them in the flour. Okay. Last one, shake it off, wash your hands. Anytime you're dealing with any raw poultry or raw meat, make sure you always wash your hands. You don't want to cross contaminate. You could get salmonella or anything like that and you won't feel pretty. I pretty much guarantee it. Okay. Grab a little soap. Make sure you wash your soap. And nice clean hands. Now, I have my large pan preheated with the olive oil. That's what you want to see. Nice medium high heat. I'm going to do two at a time so I don't overcrowd the pan and steam the chicken. Now, here's what you want. You want to do this for about 45 minutes on each side until they're just golden brown on each side and then cooked all the way through and um, three quarters of the way through. Then I'm going to remove these ones with the second batch. The chicken is perfect. My second batch. I'm going to take it right out. Okay. Watch the splashes. It's splattering in it. Put in your shallots and your garlic. And saute that until they get nice, tender, and translucent. It won't take very long. It'll take about a minute or two. My shallots and my garlic are perfect. They've been cooking for about two minutes now. And now I'm going to add my cremini mushrooms. Now, the bigger ones I've quartered, the smaller ones I've halved. So, toss these around. Coating them in the olive oil. You may need to add a little more olive oil. I think I'm good. Mushrooms will release some of their juices, some of their water. I'm just going to let it go the way that it is. I am going to salt and pepper it. Remember, you want to salt and pepper every element of your dish just so you can get a nice rounded flavor. Okay. A little salt. Okay. Now I'm going to just give them this one more little stir. And these are going to go on medium heat for about five to seven minutes. You want the mushroom to start cooking down and for their juices to come out. Just about five minutes. My mushrooms are nice and caramelized. Now I'm going to add my marsala. Turn the heat up just a touch. Now you want this to cook for about a minute or so. You want all the alcohol to cook out. You just want all the concentrated flavor to stay in within your dish. Just about a minute, and then we'll add our chicken stock. My marsala has been reducing for about a minute now. Now we're going to add the chicken stock. Now I know this looks like it's a lot of sauce, a lot of liquid, but this is going to cook down for about five to seven minutes. You want this to be reduced by half, and then we'll add our chicken back in and finish it up. My liquids have reduced by half. Now I'm just going to season it with a little salt and pepper. Okay. 
give this a little stir. And I'm going to add in my butter. Now, I dredged the butter in a little flour before I started cooking just because it's going to thicken my sauce and it's just going to make it really luscious and smooth without adding a lot of butter. Okay. Let that melt. Cook it for another minute or so and then we'll add on our chicken. My sauce is nice and thick. Look at that. Okay. We're going to add in the parsley. Fresh chopped Italian parsley. Okay. Oh, it smells phenomenal. Now we're going to put in the chicken. Just going to put it in just to warm it through. Because remember, this is already cooked. Okay. Put it back in. About a minute on each side to warm it through all the way. And it's ready. This is absolutely perfect. I'm going to turn it off. Look at that. The sauce is nice and thick. The chicken is warm all the way through. Now I'm just going to plate it. Spoon over your sauce. Oh, wait till you make this. You'll never go out at a restaurant. You'll always just want to make it at home. So here you have it. Perfect, easy chicken marsala. I hope you make this at home. It took no time and it was so easy. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me as much as I've enjoyed spending time with you. To get this recipe and other recipes, visit my website at www.lorainthekitchen.com. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.